And hey, y'all, what is good for this Monday? Uh, whatever coast you on, it might be Tuesday, and uh, might still be a little bit early Monday, uh, late Monday, I mean. But welcome, one, welcome all. Back again to Music Monday with your host, Top Dot. Um, today, y'all, my fault, I had to get something off me. Today, we're gonna talk about Kanye West again. The only reason we're gonna talk about him again is because I get tired of Kanye West, man. And the reason I get tired of Kanye West, because Kanye West could do something else with his life. He could be on something different. He could be enjoying his life with his kids, just keeping his name out the public, chilling, being a low key producer like Swizz or, you know what I'm saying, Knife Wonder, somebody like that is. But no, man. Kanye has to be in the media. He has to be in the mouths and the ears and the eyes of everybody. So he got to say something controversial, stupid, every once in like every once, every two, three months. Not even, not, not even that. Let me rewind it. He says something stupid at least every week. But we hear about something that just outshines all the stupidity that he probably packs in his daily routine. And it's always something that stands out just, just equally, that just basically blows the other equally dumb stuff off the map. In, in this week's installment of Kanye West again, he goes to say, now he's going to stop doing rap music because it's the devil's music, and he's going to start doing strict Christian music. Now, I don't have a problem with this. I don't have a problem with what people believe in what they do i'm not a super religious person no i believe in a higher power i i don't believe in the way that it's formatted and and what the people before us is talking about because they do it's not too much proof but that's me so i don't judge people on what they do or what they say now but from what i understand about christianity and most of that stuff is that you have to basically turn over a whole new leaf. Basically, you gotta exercise your mental demons to get right to be in a righteous place. So, I'm not saying Kanye can't exercise the demons. I'm just saying Kanye has done this like this is like the third or fourth time he has said or tried to do this. Now, if you're going to do it, just do it. I'm pretty sure the the grand creator, God Himself don't want to keep hearing you saying yeah i'm mess with you no i'm not yeah i'm mess with you no i'm not yeah i'm mess with you no i'm not after a while this is going to get repetitive and tedious and loathsome so you're just going to start ignoring it but now him going wanting to go into christian music for one thing it, it, that's it's not a bad thing at all so please don't don't take my neck off for saying anything about that but him doing it it's a certain tinge to it when he doing it because I think he just doing it once again for attention purposes. He don't give two dams about the, the Christian music. Literally, y'all. Uh, if you don't believe me, watch. In about two or three months, he's going to be off this and talking about how him and Kim, him and Kim had like a foursome or something and, and fucking ski ski lodge and, and aspects or something it's just gonna be something crazy once again and so you know blame me <laughs> for not really believing in what he talking about because he always says this for some type of attention because he needs to garner it because in his little mind if you're not paying attention to him or talking about him his life is is obsolete it has no meaning which is dumb, but I guess you let them, you let them think how you let them think. But the the reason, once again, is this makes me mad about Kanye. Not only because he does his lot, because he don't do nothing when he says these things and he tries to go forth and do them. He just don't do nothing with it. He just talks. Everybody be like, okay, yeah. A lot of people defend him. A lot of people were saying what I'm saying. Like, man, yeah, shut up, dude. And we know what you're talking about. You ain't talking about nothing. So, <clears throat> in that essence, everybody, you know, it, it's basically like the boy crying wolf. So, 
if you gonna keep crying wolf and there's no wolf around when it really is a wolf around, nobody gonna believe you. So you you gotta do something. So I'm I'm saying Kanye, do something with yourself on that tip. I'm not done with you yet, but just do something with yourself on that tip because I don't believe you should be playing with God like that. I don't think you should be playing with that sort of religion like that because that's not cool. You know you. Cool. One minute you talking about you a fucking hoe, and the other, the next minute you talking about praise God. You you know what I'm saying make the earth make the earth move and you, your glory, and then two or three weeks after that you talking about going back to having sex with big booty women, or basically your wife. But you know that, that having sex with the big booty girls is an image for the music, cause Lord everybody know he ain't doing all that. So. You know what I mean? But with that um, being said, I also want to get off into that little Howard University thing that he did. But I'm going to get back to the ignorance of Kanye West and that, that Christian music thing in a half a second. But I, I can't let that little piece of this whole Music Monday go either. Now, what he said at the age... BCU and at the college was he said next time the slavery net gets cast out let's try not to all stand in the same place now for one that's basically kicking our ancestors in their behind saying y'all were stupid and y'all let somebody that tricked y'all into thinking that they were decent people get y'all now he's saying basically if they decide to do it again which I don't think is going to happen. But if they decide to do it again, let's not stand here and act like we want to get caught up in that. Kanye, you little stupid bastard. Our ancestors didn't want to get caught up in that. They didn't know that them settlers from the Spanish islands was the Spanish islands was going to come and fucking take them by force or trick them into thinking that they was going to take them over to the new world, teach them knowledge, and then bring them back so they can build a better civilization. No, that was not their fault. They did not know that. They did, They had no idea who them folks was, and they was interested and wanted to learn who they was. Like, oh, well, these some new people. We ain't really seen them before. We done heard a little bit, but we ain't never seen them. Cool. Let's go try to exchange um, properties, you know? Let's try to exchange something. Let's try to, words, properties. Let's try to exchange friendship, something. So it's not the it's not our ancestors' fault. So stop fucking blaming our ancestors for getting caught up in a whole plethora of bullshit that they had no idea about. Because you you're basically saying that all black people are just mindless drones, just meant to be like slaves or just mindless drones period like we are organic machinery that's not true Kanye it's not true at all everybody got value including black people I don't care how many problems we have every single race has some type of problem stop always pinpointing out black people to, to have the the most problems of problems when everybody got a lot of problems of problems going on within their own society as well so no we're not perfect nobody is perfect but stop pointing us saying y'all y'all perfect is our basic good no everybody perfect is is perfect is perfect you know and things of that nature so spinning this segue and this all the way into the end of this Kanye West doing that dumbass I'm finna flip flop that rap is the devil's music all that it's the devil's music now cause this record's not selling that's why it's devil's music. Plus, Kanye likes to get, when he gets irritated with black people, which I tell my brothers and sisters this all the time, every time Kanye West get mad with us, Kanye West attacks black people. It, it, everybody sees it now. A lot of people see it. But when Kanye West get mad, Kanye West attacks black people. And he thinks that garners favor with white people, which helps his ego, which basically in the end is what Kanye wants stroked it's his ego so my little signing off to saying this i think it's a bad idea him trying to switch from this to christian rap i don't think it's gonna conform right i don't think you can sucker the christians into buying your music 
because now you're talking about music uh you know you're talking about jesus and everything no i don't think that's gonna happen and two get your life together Kanye. get your damn life together man you may be rich but just because you're rich don't mean you're smart and you keep saying you a genius we don't see it i don't see no part of a fucking genius in you i'm me, I, I go around and call myself a genius, but I only call myself a genius because I know within my realm and within my world, I have most of that master. I have 90, 95% of my world master. The other 5% is women, and I can't master that. So the other thing outside of women, inside my world, I have mastered. So I'm just trying to go to the outside world and get a, a mastery of that because I'm only like four four to fifteen percent mastered in the real real world i'm getting up there now but as i can decipher and, and calculate i don't want your formula at all kanye so black people once again stop listening to kanye stop buying that whack-ass music don't buy them whack-ass clothes please don't buy them whack at well y'all gonna keep buying them ugly yeezys keep on buying them but at your own peril and just be conscious because Kanye talk, he talk a good game, but no, he don't. Kanye don't talk no good game. Y'all, until next Monday, man, I'm going to get with y'all, man. Deuces.